let's start with Moore's Law. So if you look at the two pictures, you see the Apollo uh, integrated circuit, and you see one from today. So in, in 65, Gordon Moore of Fairchild Electronics, which, by the way, uh, he worked on the Apollo program uh, and was a co-developer of the first integrated circuit. He, he came up with this, this rule that said the number of transistors on a chip would double every two years. Uh, in 1968, along with uh, a man named Robert Noyce, they co-founded uh, Intel. And they came up with the, uh, they produced the 4004 microchip and that transformed the world It enabled cell phones, calculators, pacemakers, ATMs, you name it. It affected me personally because at the time I was a young engineer, probably older than everybody on this call. And I was using a slide rule and you could only get three decimal, three figure accuracy with that, but you needed four figure accuracy for a lot of engineering assignments. Uh, which took a meant a whole bunch of ha uh, hand uh, long divisions and long multiplications, which were full of errors and took time. When Texas Instruments and uh, and uh, Hewlett Packard came up with handheld calculators, we all bought them, and uh, it meant better accuracy. But more importantly, it meant eight hours less assignments a week, which meant more time to drink beer with the rest of the engineers. Another important thing about this development is that. Uh, Moore and Noyce challenged their organization to get the cost of an integrated circuit down to a dollar. And it was a staggering reduction in, in cost. And many of his team, including his senior managers, they quit. And, uh, but, but the two of them persevered and they made it happen. And it was not only the capability of the 4004 microchip, but it was the, the, the low cost of it that made it explode in the marketplace.